Hi, my name is Natalie Hummel. I'm an assistant professor and extension entomologist at the Louisiana State University Agricultural Center. I work primarily with rice and citrus. And today what I'd like to do is just quickly demonstrate how you could go out and looking at your citrus trees either in a commercial grove or in a yard to identify damage and then identify the adult stage of the diaprepes root weevil, also called the West Indian sugarcane borer. And so what we have here on this tree is a quite a bit of feeding damage. Um, this grove has a pretty severe infestation with this pest. And one of the things that clued us into the presence of this pest in the grove is these notches on the edges of the leaves. This is something that you're going to want to really be looking for. Uh, in particular, you'll see this on older vegetation on the tree, is these notched curves on the edge of the leaf. And then when you walk in to look further at that tree, uh, we found here a pair of adults, uh, which you can see right here. This is a very large insect, so it's not hard to find. They have longitudinal stripes, uh, black stripes running the length of the body. Uh, these are a beetle. It's a member of the Curculeonidae, which is the weevils. They have a few different color morphs. You might find a light gray color, sort of a bluish color or a green color, as well as this orange or tan color. Sometimes they're also really darker, bright orange. Now, if you see anything like this in your citrus trees or on other trees in, that you might have in your yard, they have about 270 host plants. I'd like you to call your local county agent office and please report this to the Louisiana State University Agricultural Center. This is a new pest in the state and we're trying to find out how widespread it is throughout the state. So the life cycle of this insect is that the adults will come into the grove, um, start feeding on the vegetation on the leaves. You might see a flush, uh, what we would call a flush or a mass emergence of adults that would occur possibly from May to June and then again from September to October. In this case, we actually saw quite a few adults in July and August, and it appeared to have been related to a large rainfall event. So any of those times of the year really during the summer is when you'd want to be looking for adults in your trees and this type of feeding damage that you might see. Uh, I wanted to take this as an opportunity to point out the, the important role that all of us as individuals and citizens of the United States have in preventing the movement of these invasive species from one state to another. So you need to keep in mind that citrus is one of the commodities that is very well restricted by the USDA in terms that you should never bring a, a citrus tree across state lines. And the big reason why you don't want to do that is because you could actually inadvertently be moving some of these pests with it, such as this diaprepes root weevil. So you could see how it could be relatively easy to move actually a tree that could be infested with larvae on the roots and you wouldn't even know that they were present. So I'd like to strongly encourage you to please follow the regulations that are put in place by the federal government to protect our industries, particularly the citrus industry we're talking about here.